Hi, I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin. Do you have problems holding your violin up for long periods of time? Do you experience tension in your neck or your shoulder or your arm while you're playing? If so, then the problem might be with your shoulder rest. And I'm going to show you how you can make some easy adjustments so you can play without any tension or fatigue. So first off, you're going to need a shoulder rest. And finding the right shoulder rest might involve a little trial and error. This is my box of shoulder rests that I've gone through. You'll notice there's a lot of different designs, but I tend to prefer um, one certain design that has a contour to it. You see how it dips down. And I like this design because it fits my shoulder really well and it just kind of hugs my shoulder as opposed to a flatter design. So if you're looking for a shoulder rest that has a contour, it's a good place to start. Um, some brands are Kuhn, and there's also Everrest that also has that contour. So first, let's talk about what we're looking for when your shoulder rest is perfectly adjusted. So this shoulder rest is already adjusted for me, and you'll notice that I'm not holding the shoulder rest up with my shoulder. My neck is relaxed, and I could hold the violin up without any hands. So I'm not actually holding the violin up at all. It's just resting on my shoulder and the weight of my head is all that I need to keep the violin from going anywhere. So let's talk about how we can get to this relaxed place. So first off, I want you to take off whatever shoulder rest you have and look straight ahead. Now you're going to bring the violin up to your chin. So you notice you don't want to be craning up to get to the chin rest or down. So you're perfectly relaxed, your neck is straight, you bring the violin up to you. So at this point, we are using our hands to hold up the violin. Now just turn to the left just a little bit, just so that your jaw is on the chin rest. And now you'll see all this space underneath you. That's the space we want to fill up with our shoulder rest. So let's start with this shoulder rest. So the way I put my shoulder rest on is I hold my violin upside down and I brace it against my body with my left hand. Then I take the shoulder rest and I hook the feet on top and then I slide the bottom part on until it's snug. So now try the same thing. Hold the violin up to your chin. So look straight ahead, make sure your shoulders and your neck are relaxed. Hold the violin up to where you want it to go. So I can already tell that this shoulder rest is gonna need a little bit of adjustment because there's quite a bit of space right here. But I'm gonna hold it just to see how it feels. So I can already tell that the violin is kind of dipping down a little bit. I can also tell that I'm leaning over towards the left with my neck, and I can even feel a little bit of tension right here. And I can also feel my shoulder kind of coming up a little bit to help keep the violin stable since it's not stable on its own. And if I were playing, I might even feel like my left hand is holding the violin up. So if you're feeling a lot of fatigue or tension with your left hand or your left shoulder, you might want to look at your shoulder rest and see if you can make some adjustments to help that fatigue go away. So to make this shoulder rest comfortable, let's make some adjustments. So most shoulder rests are going to have a couple different ways you can make adjustments. So I'm going to start off by just unscrewing these feet to give me some more height. And you can make lots of different variations on this. You can try, you know, screwing out one more than the other. But for now, I'm just going to unscrew both quite a bit. So now I'm going to keep my neck relaxed. I'm going to look straight ahead, hold the violin up. Make sure your left shoulder is relaxed while you're doing this too. And already I feel the shoulder rest contacting my chest, so I think this is going to feel pretty good. So I'm going to try holding it up without my hands. And that feels pretty comfortable. So another way you can make some more adjustments is where the shoulder rest is on the back of your violin. I notice people that have smaller shoulders or maybe children, a lot of times the shoulder rest actually falls off the shoulder because it's too far towards the scroll. So one thing you can do to help you there is just push it a little bit more towards the end of the violin here, and that will come up on your shoulder and not be so far to the end. Now the only problem with that is that the closer you get towards the end, the more 
likely the shoulder wrist is to just fall off. So you can make another adjustment to fix this. So a lot of shoulder wrists can generally fit a few different sizes of violins. For instance, my Everrest fits a 4-4 size violin or a 3-4 size violin. And you'll notice there's some holes right here. So if I unscrew this foot completely, I can put it into the smaller hole and that's gonna make it fit a smaller violin and that might make it fit towards the end a little bit easier. Another adjustment you can make, if you're not quite getting the height that you want out of your shoulder rest, you can try buying these little red sponges. I like them because they stay moist, they don't dry out. And wherever you need that extra height or that extra cushion, just take your sponge and rubber band it onto your shoulder rest, like that. And then see how that feels. So this is the setup I use. I like that extra cushion right there and I feel really comfortable. I could hold my violin up like this all day long. So if you are experimenting a lot with your shoulder rest and you still can't quite find exactly the perfect fit, you can also look a little bit at your chin rest. So a lot of beginner violins I see have really tiny chin rest, which means you might need to make a lot of adjustment with your shoulder rest to get your violin up to your chin. So first experiment with your shoulder rest, that's the easiest thing to change, and then you can try looking at different chin rests if, that, if your shoulder rest isn't making you happy. So have fun experimenting with your shoulder rest this week to find that perfect placement of your violin up on your shoulder. I'm Laura with Meadowlark Violin. Happy practicing.